the limit of a function. In this video, we introduce the concept of a limit using an intuitive approach. We begin our exploration of limits by discussing how to evaluate the limit of a function by inspecting its graph. This video aims to build a conceptual understanding of limits. A function f assigns an output f, x, to every input x. For example consider the function f, x, equals x squared. If you input 0, the output is 0. If you input 1, the output is 1. If you input 2, the output is 4. If you input 3, the output is 9. Observe that the output of a function changes as the input changes. The limit of the function f at point p describes the behavior of the output f, x, as x moves closer and closer to p. Before going on to the limit let's take a close look at the movement of x values. Let's pick a point on the x-axis. Say 3 we can approach 3 by starting from the left side of 3 or by starting from the right side of 3. Observe that if we approach 3 by starting from the left then we walk across the values less than 3. In symbols approaching from left is denoted by x right arrow 3 and we place a negative sign above 3. Here negative sign indicates the left side. The behavior of the function values or y values as x approaches 3 from the left side is called the left hand limit at 3 and is denoted by. If we approach 3 by starting from the right, then we walk across the values bigger than 3. In symbols approaching from right is denoted by x right arrow 3, and we place a positive sign above 3. Here positive sign indicates the left side. The behavior of the function values or y values as x approaches 3 from the right side is called the right hand limit at 3 and is denoted by.